Now, I apologize for sounding so harsh, but at the end of the day, the majority of people that attempt to stop drinking alcohol will fail. For most people, it will be a fight, it will be a struggle, it will end in relapse, and the reason why is because they don't understand the stuff that I'm gonna share with you in today's video. That is just the fact of the matter. You know, if, if, if everybody stopped drinking first time around, then this channel wouldn't even exist. In fact, if everybody stopped drinking first time around, there would be no alcohol industry, because pretty much every single person at some point in their life has said, I'm never drinking again, and then they end up drinking again. But why? Why does this keep happening? What do you need to understand to make this journey easy and effortless and enjoyable? Because I've not drank for four years. That's after 10 years of trial and error. But it's because I understood what I'm gonna share with you today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just before we get into the video, if you want to access a free video training that shows you how to control your drinking using something called first principles thinking, then click the link in the description. There'll be a training video for you to watch that really shows you how to apply this mental model to reframe how you view alcohol and then exactly what you should do once stopping drinking. That video training is probably the best video that I've ever made, so click the link in the description to get access to that and now back to the video. So there's really three key ideas that you need to get your head around to make stopping drinking easy. And like I said, if you don't get your head around these things, you're probably gonna fail. The first thing that you have to realize is there is absolutely nothing to actually give up when you stop drinking alcohol, right? because we're all buying into this idea that alcohol is something that we give up. What do I mean by this? Well, I mean that we perceive alcohol to be something that adds value in our life. So when we have this perception and we see it as something beneficial, we feel like we're removing something from our life. Let's say, for example, you love playing golf, right? Golf is just your thing. You love going out, doing nine holes. You've got the best clubs. You've got a coach, whatever. Now, if somebody turned around to you and said, you know, John, you've got to stop playing golf right now and that's it, and you did, you would feel like you've made a sacrifice, right? You've given something up because golf really added enjoyment and value into your life. What we have to realize is that alcohol adds no value. I know right now that that might sound just too hard to believe, it might just be too, too truthful of a pill to swallow, but it truly does nothing, nothing, not one single thing at all. Now, if you've been a regular viewer of this channel for a while, you might already have your head around this idea. You might already understand that it does nothing for you. There is no benefit. There's nothing to gain from putting ethanol in your body. But for most people out there, they've not got their head around this, right? They still think that alcohol adds value. Listen, how can the same stuff that you put on your hands to kill bacteria, the same stuff that they use to do the industrial cleaning with, how can you say that putting that stuff in your body adds value? It's, it's sad because it doesn't. It does nothing. It's going to kill you. I don't want to sugarcoat that because how can something that is slowly destroying every single cell in your body add value? It can't. It's impossible for it to add value. And that's the first thing you've got to realize if you want to make stopping drinking an enjoyable thing is that there's truly nothing to give up. All you're doing is making an exchange. You're trading this crap poisonous substance for better health, a better career, a better family life. You're trading a poison for an amazing quality of life. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing that you've got to get your head around is this idea that we have actually been conditioned since birth to see alcohol as a good thing. Now, very often when people actually go through my program and, and we work together, they get to a point where they start to see alcohol for what it is, but then they kind of wake up to the conditioning that's happening. It's almost like you, your, your senses are heightened to the brainwashing that's happening. And somebody recently made a post in the community and I want to share that with you. He says, watching the morning news, they had a segment that with this heat wave, beer was an excellent thing to drink as it gave you electrolytes and other beneficial qualities. Nonsense. He said during work, at least five people said they couldn't wait to share beers with him at an upcoming company meeting. He went to dinner with his parents to a sushi joint where they marveled over the fancy bottles of sake. I think that's how you pronounce it. He then went home and his daughter wanted to watch The Incredibles and in it, Mr. Incredible was drinking mimosas on the plane and then fine wine at dinner. And then at the end of the evening, his wife and him decided to watch a couple of episodes of The Mandalorian where they were drinking a fancy, presumably space alcohol, glowing blue drink called gazpacho. That happened to this man in one day. Most of us, and myself included for my whole life, I'm not, I'm not saying that you're like slow or something like that, but most of us are not aware that this is even happening. Most of us just go through our life with all of these inputs that alcohol is a positive thing and we hold on to it, right? It, it just shapes our worldview. And guess what? That's one day. That's one day in the life of all of us, right? We go through life and people will encourage us to drink. People will say that alcohol adds value. Our favorite character on the TV is gonna drink alcohol and they're gonna look relaxed and nothing bad happens. This is happening all of the time. Now, let's imagine 
that you're 40 years of age right now, you're 50 years of age right now, that has happened every single damn day since the day that you've been born. Imagine if that had happened to you, right? You've been brainwashed like this, from day one of being born, and then you all of a sudden decide to stop drinking alcohol, but you don't even recognize that you've been conditioned to see it as a good thing. What do you think is gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna feel like you're missing out. You're gonna feel like alcohol adds value and you are going to fail, but it doesn't need to be that way because once you start to recognize that you've been conditioned to see it as a good thing repeatedly from the day that you've been born, but you see the truth, you see it without the idea of it being a good thing, without the labels, without all of the fancy marketing, you see ethanol. But if, you, if you're unaware of the conditioning, guess what? It's just gonna run deeper and deeper and deeper. You've gotta stop that. You've gotta bring awareness to the conditioning and see alcohol for what it is. You know, I've made videos about celebrities that are building alcohol brands. I'll leave a link up here to the video of The Rock. You know, he built that alcohol brand around tequila and and ju just go and watch that video, right? We are bombarded about alcohol and the value that it adds. Which leads me to the final thing that you've got to get your head around. And you must get your head around this idea that it does nothing for you. And I said that 10 times in the video, but if you've not stopped drinking yet and you've not found the process to be enjoyable and effortless like I keep describing, then you still think that alcohol is doing something for you. And it is doing sweet F-A. I'm not gonna swear. I try not to swear. Maybe the occasional swear word slips out, but it is doing F-A. Again, click the link in the description to access the free video training. You've got this. Have a great day.